video i will make you learn the important diameters of the skull the important epidiameters of the skull which may engage are some occipital pragmatic diameter sub occipital pragmatic diameter extends from the nape of the neck that is sub occiput till the center of the pragma which is also called as anterior fontanelle sub occipital pragmatic diameter is 9.5 cm uh, another one is sub occipital frontal diameter sub occipital frontal diameter extends from the sub occiput that is nape of the neck till the end uh, center of the sensiput this is sub occipital frontal diameter this is approx 10 cm next is submento pragmatic diameter this is from submentum that is from the floor of the mouth to the center of the pragma submento pragmatic diameter is same as sub occipital pragmatic diameter that is 9.5 cm another one is occipital frontal diameter from the frontal diameter extends from the occipital eminence to the root of the occipital eminence to the root of the nose occipital frontal diameter occipital frontal diameter is also 11.5 cm another one is mento vertical diameter mento vertical diameter extends from mentum that is the root of the chin to the highest point on the sagittal suture this is maximum this is 14 cm so mento vertical diameter extends from the submentum that is the floor of the mouth to the highest point on the sagittal suture this is 11.5 cm so this is vertex presentation extending from bracma till the corona sutures this is a bro presentation from bracma till the root of the nose and this is face presentation from root of the nose till the floor of the mouth now i have put the entire chart in just simple one line diagram in the line diagram i have put mento vertical at highest level this is about 14 cm i have put occipital frontal and submento vertical at the same level both are approx 11.5 cm i have also put sub occipital pragmatic and submento pragmatic diameter at the same level again and the both are approx 9.5 cm i have put sub occipital frontal diameter in between the two occipital frontal diameter was the same it was 11.5 cm sub occipital pragmatic was same as submento pragmatic so this is 9.5 cm you can remember any of the two and you will remember the rest of the all i have put sub occipital frontal in between so this is approx 10 cm also i have uh, written in related to exactly related to this like mento vertical mento vertical in mento vertical diameter in mento vertical diameter the presentation is bro i have written bro in the center and in the left side i have written vertex and the right side i have written face so this all diameter have vertex presentation these all diameters have face presentation okay so mento vertical presented in bro presentation occipital frontal diameter is in vertex presentation sub occipital frontal vertex presentation sub occipital pragmatic also in vertex presentation and this all diameters are in face presentation also the attitude of head attitude of the head is from complete flexion to this side ranging from complete flexion from this side up reaching to complete extension to this side so sub occipital pragmatic we can say complete flexion sub occipital frontal incomplete flexion occipital frontal deflection and uh, mento vertical it's partial extension then incomplete extension and then complete extension so attitude is attitude is partial extension in mento vertical incomplete extension in sub mento vertical complete extension in sub mento pragmatic so this is extension part and inflection part uh, sub occipital pragmatic has complete flexion sub occipital frontal has incomplete flexion occipital frontal has deflection bro presentation that is mento vertical diameter has partial extension then incomplete extension then complete extension so this is very easy